Hello friends, this is Growl, and welcome to Waffle Cat Weekly number 61, our weekly show where we open all of our vaults, talk about what's going on this week in Mythic Plus, and pretend like we didn't promise to make videos two weeks ago and then not put them out. We have a good episode today. We managed to get some help from our friends and get a weekly on all six of our healers, even healers that haven't made an appearance since season one. So we have lots of boxes to open. Uh, let's just... Go ahead and start opening them. First, we have our Evoker. Uh, we snuck into a key playing Augmentation. I do kind of want to try Preservation. I've heard good things about Preservation, but uh, our gear is half Season 2, half Season 1. It's going to be a little while. So, I'm actually going to be opening my Mythic Plus boxes as Healer Spec. That is because I really like the Healer Trinket from Everbloom. And if I ever get the opportunity to get that, uh, I will take it. So I'm gonna do that going forward until I don't have that, or until I have that trinket on all my guys. Uh. <laughs> okay, so I have a raid slot. Okay, so I think I brought this guy to get to give somebody a free uh, fire rat kill or something who was like getting a tier piece. So I think. I just get these for free, but they don't matter too much because I'm going to have to make engineering bracers anyway. So this does not count. Okay, now we open the real vault. I think I'm actually going to keep these bracers on. Oh, okay, so we have a voodoo totem, another one of the healing trinkets that's actually not too bad. On top of this, I can actually sort of use this as augmentation, uh, especially if I'm getting carried. It's a nice trinket to have, so I'm not upset about this at all. I will grab this. I will put it on probably here. Mastery Trinket. Bam. Okay, interesting. Something that I'm not upset about getting on my AUG at all. Although, on these ratty alts, I would definitely like to start getting my tier pieces. <clears throat> you can't tell already by my voice. We just woke up. We need that dopamine hit of opening our weekly vaults, though. So here we are. Let's go to our Pally and Priest next. Our Pally does not have a Mythic Plus Vault, but it does have a Raid Vault. A couple little baby vaults before we go to our big ones. Okay, let's rip it open. Not too much to be excited for on this guy, but yeah, I'm just trying to keep our... Oh. Uh, hmm, a little disappointing here. We have a weapon upgrade, but with speed or two tokens. I think, unfortunately, I take the tokens. As much as I like going fast, and this is a decent weapon, uh, yeah, I think we just take tokens here. Well, that was disappointing. Now let's go to our priest. Our priest should have a monster vault. I think it should have two raid slots, three mythic plus slots. However, our priest gear is also very good. So it may be hard to find an upgrade. Our priest actually has all of the trinkets that we're looking for. Uh, it has Blossom, Voodoo Totem, Leaf, Sea Star. We've been, uh, <laughs> Genosaur Blood. We've actually been doing a ton of keys on this guy. But uh, let's see, what loot spec are we in? Yeah, our priest has almost everything we might want. The real items I would like on my priest are some big avoidance pieces. If I want to be pushing high keys on this guy, I'd really love to have avoidance. Okay. So let's look at M plus first. Mirror. Mirror, I think, is an okay raid trinket. But I wouldn't be using it in M plus. Uh, 483 gloves. 483 chest. This is not good. Um, 480 gloves. 483 chest. 480 legs. Okay, so I already have these legs. I already have the chest. Um... So it just comes down to the gloves. These are already tiered, but they're three item levels lower. But that doesn't matter because this upgrade will be free. Let me make sure I don't have gloves in my inventory already. 
Yeah, I guess I just take the gloves for the uh, item level upgrade. I think that's what we do here. You don't need this chest. That's the same thing. The only thing I can think of is taking this trinket. Um, yeah, let's not worry about it too much. I'm never going to use this in M+. And it's at most like a very slight upgrade from our other raid trinkets. All right. Let's equip these. We just have to remember to upgrade these. Bam. Okay. Well, a little bit disappointing so far. But we still have three characters to go. Next. Our Shaman. Shaman's actually not too bad. I think Shaman falls off like really, really heavy when you get to high keys. Because it, it just doesn't really bring anything special. There's not really a big reason to play Shaman. But when you're doing just like average civilian level keys, if you're like at 20s, I mean, it's still just fine. Like, it's still Shaman, you know? Everything is still good about it. Maybe, maybe that's Copium. It definitely needs something, though. <laughs> Um, okay, so we have tier pants. Nice. Wait. Dang, we already have... Dang, we already have a uh, myth-level pants. It's our only myth-level item. So all this would do would save us a catalyst charge. But we don't even really care about a catalyst charge. We haven't even catalyzed anything on this guy yet. It's unfortunate. I think we just take the tokens... Yeah, I think we just take the tokens. Dang, that sucks. We could have used literally any piece. This this poor guy is 445 item level. He could have used any piece except for pants. Oh, well. Poor Pete. All right, let's log on Prodigy. I've been excited to gear up my Mistweaver lately. Um, I think I have four or uh, two vault slots on this guy. I'm honestly torn between what healer is is going to be best this season. My Mistweaver is not properly geared, but I've been seeing other people play it, and it looks very strong. Make sure I'm the right loot spec. Mistweaver. Okay, good. Glad we checked that. All right, let's see what we got. We had a great viewer heroic raid yesterday, or uh, last week, rather. Okay, let's look. So we have... Uh, tier legs, which is an upgrade. A chest, which is a similar upgrade, except we need to use a catalyst charge. Helm, we already have this helm. Uh, this neck is okay, but I'm going to make a lariat. And boots. Um, the boots is not myth track, unfortunately, even though this is probably the biggest upgrade. We're not taking it. So now the question is, do we want myth chest? Or myth pants what I think I'm gonna do here actually is take these pants because these pants are very well statted and I may end up not using these pants uh, as a tier item so I don't think it matters which one I tier between these but I might use these just for the stats because they're haste verse so we will take this throw it in our bags and last, but not least, our Druid. Our Druid does need the Everbloom Trinket. Quite badly. So I have to make sure I open it and heal loot spec. Our Druid also needs the Staff from Fall. For a little bit of extra damage. I do have a Voodoo Totem and a Sea Star and some other stuff. All right, well, let's rip it open. I don't see those items I was looking for, unfortunately. Uh, heroic raid, and don't really care much about these heroic items. Uh, we can take the myth chest. The belt we don't want because we're losing avoidance. Uh, the offhand is okay. We like the leech, we like the myth track, but ideally we're going to want to use a staff. Because uh, the Naimu staff or the, the Fall staff are both really good. 
So we are just going to take the myth chest. Making sure I don't already have something like that. Okay, good. Well, some disappointing loot options, but our character's power level goes stronger either way. All right, let's look at the affixes. It is Fortified, Entangling, Bolstering. I believe this season, Fortified will be quite a bit easier than Tyran. I don't know if you guys have been feeling this, but to me, the stopping points of many of the dungeons feels like bosses, except for maybe a few spots, but almost exclusively bosses. So Fortified Weeks, I think, are always going to feel better. Entangling is going to be very self-explanatory if you have any sort of talent that can help you get out of roots such as the priest uh, fade one that lets you fade out. I make sure you take this and just run it every single key this week. Entangling, not too challenging. Bolstering. Uh, I'm a little bit worried about bolstering. I feel like these dungeons are not very well thought out for bolstering. Um, yeah, I'm a little bit worried about that, especially, um, you know, some of these dungeons have like really nasty caster mobs or like, Darkheart Thicket will have mobs that you have to focus down. Uh, Everbloom, you have all the flowers that bolster. Bolster is going to be a pretty nasty affix this season. Uh, yeah, not too excited about it. Unfortunately, there's just not a lot of counterplay that you can do. The only thing I would say is just be patient. A lot of the timers, uh, especially on Fortified, again, are going to be pretty lenient. Uh, Everbloom, as long as you're not wiping, you should be able to time. Black Rock Hold, as long as you're not wiping, you should be able to time. So... Unfortunately, there's not a lot of counterplay to this bolstering stuff other than don't get frustrated and blow up. And yeah, looks like that's it. Don't have anything else to talk about. Surely not worried about any sorts of videos. Um, yeah, that's that. Uh, good luck in your guys' vaults as well. Hopefully you fare better than me. And I will see you hopefully sooner than next week. Happy keying, friends.